Well, hey there, entrepreneurs. Welcome to 30 Days of the Canon M50. If you haven't already downloaded the free PDF guide on the first video, that's just about a minute long, make sure you go back to the beginning of the series, get that free PDF on the best settings for video for the Canon M50. But otherwise, let's jump into today's video. So you may have seen by now, I have not been using my Elgato Cam Link, this device right here for all of my live streams. And I haven't actually been using my Logitech C920 either. So, but I'm streaming still with the Canon M50 and a lot of you guys have been asking, what am I doing? Well, I'm super pumped to share that with you. But before we do, please know this, use what you have um, and then you can build up to it later on by then price drops will have or decreased and then you'll have something that is still great for cheap so just know that but let's jump into my secret weapon just this usb cable this basic usb cable has been coming with android phones for years now and now you're starting to see them convert over to the usb c but this is just a regular usb uh, type drive the, the uh, micro one so how am I using this with the Canon M50? Well, there has been a program that is released and it's, this is, a, an, I believe, an open source program that somebody just made and they're making it available and this is like their ninth iteration of that. So it has been out there for a, a while. It does work with the DSLR cameras and there's a list uh, that they have available that you'll see online and links to everything will be down in the description below. And if you, for whatever reason, don't have one of these around, you can pick one up from a family member, a friend, or somebody lost and found. These are everywhere. What that program does is it allows you to basically take the micro USB portion of this cable, plug it into the Canon M50, the USB portion into the computer. Once you're using the software, you actually are able to somehow capture the image from the camera transfer it to the computer and use it with your encoding software. Now, what I mean by the encoding software is that just with a regular, you know, USB camera like this, you don't need any software. This is legit plug and play, just regular USB and you're ready to go. When it comes to, you know, taking an image from an HDMI port or taking it from even this USB port, there has to be some type of technological transference to get it from the camera into the computer in a readable format that can be used and streamed just like that regular USB web camera. There is one precursor. Make sure that the cable that you're using, because not all USB, uh, USB to USB micro cables are going to transfer data. And that is what you want. When you plug in your camera into the computer, is it going to read it and recognize it? Or is it just going to be plugged in and nothing is happening? I'll show you how to do that once we jump over to, over to the computer. So maybe grab a couple different ones. I would suggest getting one that came with an old phone that you have, some old smartphone or whatever most recent, you know, Android phone or somebody's whatever, just grab one. Grab a couple of them because if one doesn't work, try another. But grab a couple, let's jump over to the computer. To github.com based on the link in the description below. Um, you want to make sure that you come down to build nine. Now build nine will be the most recent release uh, as of June 4th, 2018. Um, and any future updates will be uh, more than likely at this link. Uh, and so what you wanna do is you go to camera.live.zip and that will open up for you um, just a regular downloader. And then once you add that to uh, your downloads page, or let's just go ahead and put that on the desktop for now. Um, you'll download that. It'll ask you, well, it's asking, it's telling me that this file already exists and yeah, uh, I'm going to go ahead and replace it or I can hit cancel. And so then, uh, once you go to your homepage, whether you're on a, a PC or a Mac, you should have, uh, if you're on PC, you should have something to unzip that like win zip or win rar r a r or whatever the, the case may be uh, but once you uh, double click on that then you should be able to uh, start unzipping that now i'm not going to because i already have this uh, downloaded on the computer and then it'll bring you up to this uh well it'll download for you and install and you can either go to your applications uh, or whatever the case is wherever your stuff is stored and then you'll open it from there but as far as the downloading that's all that's required all right, so what we have here right now is we have the Canon M50 
connected in via USB on the camera. Uh, so real quick so that you are aware, this will not work when you are using uh, just this USB process and then you're, you can't hook the USB straight into the camera and the computer and then just go straight to YouTube. It does not work that way. YouTube does require that Elgato or something compatible like that just to go straight from the camera, plug into the computer and uh, go live that way. This requires an encoding software, something like an OBS or the Ecamm Live that I prefer to use. I don't use OBS uh, at all, so I can't you know, walk you through that process or share what that's like. I will leave a link up above where you can go to Premier Gal's web, uh, not website, but her particular hookup. She uses the, I believe the Elgato uh, Cam Link and her Canon M3, and that will allow you to uh, go through a UBS pro type process and you may be, may be able to ask her a few questions on that. So what we'll do is we'll go to this Camera Live, which is an open source program, look into whatever safety precautions and things like that for open source software and if you want to use it or not so you have been warned now there is one problem um, once you uh, open this software now it says no camera it's not reading anything once we plug this in sometimes since i've uploaded to this mojave operating system for mac sometimes it will not register the camera when i plug it in otherwise we can just troubleshoot it um, in just a second in case we run into that so real quick this is all it takes plugging it into the usb and then You'll see that laptop symbol. It registers the camera at Canon in 50 uh, and it says starting. Now when it's not selected, it should say ready. You select it, it goes from starting to active. Now that did not work um, this particular time. So again, this is that, that issue, what I was saying. It, it's connected to the, the computer just fine, but it's not kicking over uh, and registering as active. So let's unplug it, like most old school solutions. Unplug it, blow the cartridge, put it back in, and play Mario Kart. So now we're gonna click it. it, should go to starting, and then active, and then that's it. That's literally all the issue is, and that's what happened on the previous stream that I couldn't figure out what it was, but this is a new issue with Mojave, and that's, that's all. Other than that, we can uh, close that down. Now we wanna go to Ecamm Live in this particular order, and there we are, so that's the actual camera i can go to facebook periscope twitch um, i can use restream.io which i do have an account with to multi uh, or simulcast or you know simultaneously cast to multiple different ones so i can go to facebook and youtube at the same time i can just record which i did uh, some response videos to as well testing out this this option as well just to record directly onto the computer and use it as if it was just like a regular web camera this is so simple so easy i have been in love with this once you have it connected it's not like dropping the signal it doesn't drop the frame so it's you know real choppy it just works it's easy for the most part it's free um again obs is not something that i recommend um personally because i mean it's free and it is a recommendable software but it's just like it's so much to that and unless you're willing to commit to that learning curve, I've tried it, um, I've been successful with it. I'm not sure if it works with this process, but um, I know that this method does work with encoding softwares. So more than likely, it will work with OBS, but I'm just not willing to go through the headache. See what you wanna do when it comes to this process, or you can always uh, invest in the Elgato Camlink uh, if you want to use it and make sure that um, it just works with a regular HDMI and you won't have the issues that I previously ran into with it cutting out just by um, make sure that your, your PC, your computer, or your MacBook is strong enough. But otherwise, this little charging cable, stuff you throw away is the thing to use to make this M50 work and not have to spend a whole bunch of money.